Every year after the first snowfall, children grab their sleds and head to the nearest hill for some sledding. It's a fun winter activity, but it also poses some major hazards. Approximately 20,000 children require treatment in the emergency room every year due to sledding accidents, and head injuries are the most common injury. Hi, I'm Kayla from West Bend Mutual Insurance, and today let's talk about sledding safety. Whether you're a child care provider taking a group of kids out for an adventure or a property owner allowing the neighborhood children to use your hill, it's important to think about sledding safety. Here are some key things to keep in mind. Selecting an appropriate area is an essential first step. When selecting an area to go sledding, it's important to consider the entire area to make sure it's safe. Some of the key aspects to consider are ensuring the hill is away from roads and free of hazards like trees, playground equipment, or ponds or rivers that may not be frozen. There should also be enough room to stop safely and a safe area to climb back up the hill. Once you've selected a safe sledding location, ensure all equipment is safe and in good working condition. Sleds that are cracked, broken, or damaged in any way should be discarded as they could pose a danger to the user and others. Also, the use of anything other than a device designed specifically for sledding should be prohibited. Children sledding should also wear appropriate clothing for the temperature. Next, be sure everyone understands what it means to ride safely. It's important that all sled riders are aware of how their sled was meant to be ridden and what the designed rider load is. Riders should also sit in a forward facing position as this is the safest way to ride down a hill. Adult supervision is also essential for a safe sledding outing. While children should always be supervised, it's especially important to pay extra attention to them when they're engaged in a potentially dangerous activity like sledding. Supervising adults should make sure all participants are sledding safely and not engaging in any unnecessarily risky behavior. We also want to briefly touch on some safety considerations for hill owners. Property owners of sledding hills need to take several precautions to protect themselves from lawsuits and other damages. It's best to not open hills to the general public. Keeping sledders out can be difficult, however, so it's important to post signs detailing sledding rules for the hill if it's open to the public. Ideally, all sledders should sign waivers that effectively waive all liability. We know waivers can be extremely difficult to obtain, but they're the best way to protect against lawsuits and claims of negligence. By taking a few safety precautions, children can enjoy this winter pastime and avoid injury at the same time. Additionally, child care providers and property owners can protect themselves from costly claims and lawsuits. Thank you for watching. For more safety tips like these, subscribe to our business blog.